ऑब्सेसिव कंपल्सिव एंड रिलेटेड डिसऑर्डर दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन दिस ग्रुप ऑफ डिसऑर्डर मल्टीपल डिसऑर्डर्स आर देयर इफ आई टॉक अबाउट डी एस एम फाइव देर आर फाइव डिसऑर्डर्स निमोनिक इज होबेट एच ओ बी ई टी एच फोर होर्डिंग डिसऑर्डर ओ फोर ऑब्सेसिव कंपल्सिव डिसऑर्डर बी फोर बॉडी डिसमोर्फिक डिसऑर्डर E4 फोर एक्सकोरिएशन डिसऑर्डर टी फोर ट्राइकोटिलोमेनिया इफ यू डोंट रिमेम इट्स ओके जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया सो डी एस एम फाइव सैड दैट ऑब्सेसिव कंपल्सिव एंड रिलेटेड डिसऑर्डर इंक्लूड फाइव डिसऑर्डर नाउ आई सी डी इलेवन के इट इंक्लूडेड सेवन डिसऑर्डर्स येस लेट मी डिस्क्राइब होर्डिंग डिसऑर्डर इज सेम होर्डिंग डिसऑर्डर इज पार्ट ऑफ डी एस एम आई सी डी इलेवन सेम होर्डिंग डिसऑर्डर वन मोर एंटिटी विद एच H4 hypochondriasis. So I point out this is hypochondriasis has been included in OCRD, ICD-10. It was somatoform disorder, but ICD-11 it is obsessive compulsive and related disorder. Question asked. Obsessive compulsive disorder it is same. In ICD-11, one more disorder that is olfactory reference syndrome. This is new entity, no question till now, but can be asked. Olfactory reference syndrome, new entity in ICD-11. Body dysmorphic disorder is same. Body dysmorphic disorder DSM-5 is having, ICD-11 is having. Excoriation trichotillomania both are same in ICD-11 and DSM-5, but ICD-11 said that these two disorder jointly called body focused repetitive behavior disorder. So I can say that ICD-11 mnemonic is hobby H two thing hoarding disorder hypochondriasis new thing. O4 two things obsessive compulsive disorder olfactory reference syndrome new thing B B4 body dysmorphic disorder and body focus repetitive behavior disorder new thing three new things yes excoriation trichotillomania is a part of body focus repetitive behavior disorder even if you don't remember when i will discuss in detail at that time it would be clear for a time being recently asked question why i am giving more stress on this icd 11 which of the following diagnosis is now included as obsessive compulsive and related disorder all the option in this question are impulse control disorder according to icd 10 i write icd 10 pyromania kleptomania intermittent explosive disorder trichotillomania gambling disorder these are impulse control disorder but icd 11 Yes, trichotillomania is now ocrd this is the answer they have asked next time they ask question yes gambling disorder is not impulse control disorder now it is addiction this may be a potential question now second question which has been asked recently which of the following is not classified as ocrd as per icd 11 hypochondriasis i told you hypochondriasis previously it was somatoform disorder but now it is ocrd ocd definitely previously it was ocrd even now ocrd body dysmorphic disorder previously ocrd even now ocrd trichotillomania icd10 it was impulse control disorder now it is ocrd ptsd is not included in ocrd so this is the answer now i discuss individual disorder one by one i start with ocd frequently asked question obsessive compulsive disorder we all know about obsession suppose i am having ocd and i am having obsession of contamination whenever i touch this pen thoughts start coming in my mind your hands are dirty your hands are dirty your hands are dirty yes thoughts are coming again and again i am teaching you but these thoughts are intruding in my mind these are intruding in my mind so definition of obsession recurrent and intrusive thoughts most of time you will find question on thoughts so thoughts are coming again and again in my mind that my hands are dirty but this is not only thought it may be image it may be impulse so recurrent and intrusive thought image or impulse patient consider these thoughts are my own thought 
I know that these thoughts are my own thought, that my hands are dirty, my hands are dirty. These are not any other's thought. This is my own thought. I want to stop these thoughts because I feel these are senseless. How my hands can be dirty by touching this pen? I have sanitized this pen multiple time. Multiple time I have sanitized this pen, but even after that, if I touch this pen, I thoughts start coming. My hands are dirty. My hands are dirty. These are my own thought. These are senseless. I know. Yes, how can my hands be dirty with touching this pen? But these are senseless. Point it out. So patient consider these thoughts their own thought and find them senseless. When I find it senseless, I will try to stop these thoughts. But I am unable to stop these thoughts. Patient tries to resist these thoughts but can't stop. That's why cause anxiety. Yes, I want to stop. I will feel anxious. Anxiety will build up, build up, build up, build up. I will not be able to control anxiety. Will go to washroom, wash my hand and will feel relaxed. Means this washing hand is called compulsion. Yes. In response to these thoughts, I am doing some rituals. These are called compulsion. Yes, compulsion are repetitive behavior performed in response to obsession and you will feel relaxation. Means episodic anxiety is there. Point it out. Previously, OCD was part of anxiety disorder. But now it is not anxiety disorder. This is a part of OCRD, obsessive compulsive and related disorder. Now, Suppose a person is washing hand again and again and again and again. When you will say that this is OCD, there is one criteria which was asked in question that time wasted in compulsion should be at least one hour per day. If I am going again and again to wash my hand, definitely I will not be able to teach you. I will not be able to perform my daily activity. Yes, that's why I should be given disability benefit. Yes, so OCD is given disability benefit. Otherwise, anxiety, depression, they are also called so-called neurotic disorder. Now, neurotic disorder and psychotic disorder, this classification is no longer used. But even now, yes, we are using this. So, depression, anxiety, we never give disability benefit. But OCD, patient is so disturbed, wasting at least one hour a day. Yes, I will give disability benefit to OCD patient. So this is disability benefit is given to the OCD patient. You remember the definition. Now in this definition, I will point out patient consider them their own thought, consider them their own thought. But if patient says that these thoughts are being inserted in my mind by somebody else, then it would become thought insertion, thought insertion. And you all know thought insertion is Snyderian first rank symptom seen in schizophrenia. Question can be asked. Yes, I told you even a single word can change the answer. Let me give you a question. An 18 year old boy was having recurrent intrusive thoughts which he perceives to be senseless and involuntary. Patient wants to stop them but can't stop. Patient start believing these thoughts are being inserted by his family member. Point it out. In this the question if you will read it will feel that this question is OCD. But actually they have given only this one word that being inserted. Being inserted means that first rank symptom thought insertion the answer would be schizophrenia yes which diagnosis you will consider yes i will consider schizophrenia and i told you that patient feel these thoughts senseless means ego dystonic not agreeable to self again i repeat if a person feel senseless not convinced with these thoughts that is ego dystonic not agreeable to self if patient agree, it is called egocentonic, just like delusion. Delusion patient believe that I am the richest person on the earth and, and the patient do agree with these thought, egocentonic. So question is asked, delusion are egocentonic, obsessions are ego dystonic. So I leave this discussion. I come to the main question next. Same question, only one word is different, 18 year old boy recurrent intrusive thoughts which perceives to be senseless which he perceives to be senseless 
involuntary patient wants to stop but can't stop he starts believing these thoughts are my own thought my own thought this is obsession ocd okay now in these two question i have said that thoughts are senseless sometimes in ocd patient would say yes these are some senseful thoughts means patient is convinced with these thoughts previously we used to say that if patient is convinced with thought then it is egosyntonic this should be delusion egosyntonic if thoughts are egosyntonic it may be delusion yes but now we say no in ocd in ocd or obsessive compulsive and related disorder insight may be present just like i am feeling that these thoughts are senseless means i am having insight suppose i say this may be a possibility that insight is absent means if i say yes my hands can be dirty insight and i am convinced with it so my insight is absent yes insight is absent so in ocd and ocrd previously we used to say ocd insight is present but i told you that in ocd or oc rd insight may be absent if insight means absent then we will say ocrd with poor insight poor insight or ocrd delusional type ocrd delusional type again i repeat if you don't remember this it is specifically for higher level inict level most of time they are not asking question but in mle pattern this is favorite question that in ocd insight may be absent then you will say ocd delusional type you will not say it is delusion this is ocd or ocrd delusional type this has been asked in aims also in this ocrd if insight is poor or poor insight or insight is absent then prognosis is poor prognosis is poor prognosis poor prognosis